Hey guys, Frat Guy the Card Games here, and I'm coming at you again with not another test hand. This is actually a tutorial video, kind of, more like a advice video. I've had to talk to like a lot of younger players about, uh, so how do you get all these really neat cards? Like, I, um, I went to Locals this last week, and uh, one of the prize packs, because they were just out of packs, was Circuit Break. No, not Circuit Break. Gosh, Flood. It was Flames of Destruction, and I pulled Infinite Impermanence out of the pack. So I have those now, which is really neat. But I, so, and my little friends who are around, because you know, like, if you're an older Yu-Gi-Oh player, you know there's kids who play the game because it's a children's card game. But, and I just have a big urge to help them. So they're like, uh, so where'd you, how do you get these great cards? Like, I have Thunder Dragon Colossus, and this is actually Salomon Greats right here. I'm going to be doing, like, test hands while I talk, or maybe just have it here for aesthetic purposes. I don't really know yet. But they're like, where'd you get all this cool stuff? I'm like, I, I actually won a lot of it. So these are... So this is Frat Guide to Card Games, how to get cards without buying them. Now, not like this won't cost you money, like it costs money to enter locals. So uh, first thing is get them in your packs at locals. And to do that, you got to do good at locals. And before you do that, you got to go to locals a lot. And before you can do that, you have to find a locals. So, and, and for those of you who don't know, a local card shop is just the lifeblood of this game. Some might argue that it's events, and that's for more older players. But if you're if you're college level, high school level, uh, younger than that, you need to find a great locals. And there's this really great resource. You you type in your search engine just OT Konami OTS stores, and it's on the Yu-Gi-Oh website. And it's like Konami list of Konami uh, OTS stores. And you go down, you find your state, find your city, and then there's the closest stores to you. There might not be one in your city, so if if there's if you can't find one on the OTS store, but the OTS stores are always the best ones because they're Konami sanctioned and you get OTS packs, which always have amazing reprints in them. Normally, eh, I I have an Ulti Licorice, so normally. Um, but if there's nothing on the OTS site near you, you need to go on Facebook because every game store has a Facebook page, or maybe there's like a Yu-Gi-Oh group in your area. Where I'm from, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh group. Where I go to college, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh group. And so you just find those guys and you just type in like, uh, say you like, if you live in Atlanta, there's a lot to go around. But if you're like uh, in, um, I'm going to name a city. If you're in like Nashville, Tennessee or whatever. Yu-Gi-Oh, Nashville, Tennessee, enter. And then all the chickas, like all the all these things will show up. And you'll be like, oh, this is a locals, this is a locals, this is a locals. And then you kind of just, it's kind of like finding a church. You just kind of go around all of them and see which one you liked best. And so that's how you find a locals. But, like, how do you know, like, when's locals? So normally uh, people are actually really nice. Contrary to popular belief, people are actually really nice. So you can actually just, if there's not a locals going on, or if it's, like, not on their Facebook, you're, you just can just visit the store. And you go to the counter, like, hey, uh, I saw on y'all's Facebook that y'all have Yu-Gi-Oh locals. And they'll be like, yes or no, and if there's no, you just go somewhere else. And they might be out of the way, so you might want to space yourself out for figuring it out or get your parents to take you if you're young. But, um, so, you know, find a good locals. That's, and they'll, they'll tell you. People at card shops are usually really nice, even if they look kind of scary. If they've got funky hair, that's just their lifestyle choice, and that's cool. So, finding a good locals. And the, I could do a whole video on the, content of a good locals but normally they just got lots of tournaments and a really healthy community and nice guys around who will help you out and all that good stuff and that's actually going to come later in this video but so go to locals go to locals a lot go often get good so getting good at locals how do you get good at locals you know how like simo's got like the big meta analysis simo big videos where he just um talks about the top five meta decks Forget that. Don't worry about that. What you do is before every locals, you walk around the tables. This is kind of cheating, but not really. Like, you know these guys. You just walk around like, oh, he's playing Fluffles. He's playing BA. And you build your deck accordingly. And depending on how what your local meta is, you can get really good by learning your matchups. And if you don't know the matchup, like, you don't know how to BA. Like, I don't know how to beat BA. I haven't for a long time. 
and I play Thunder Dragons, which has a bad matchup. So I was like, how to beat Burning Abyss. Make sure it's a recent video or a recent article or something. And you analyze the local meta, and you just play around it. Like, you just flip up your salad boys, and you just go off. Like, you're like, oh, yeah, man. Oh, I got all my floodgates. Wow, I only have floodgates. Hold on, upstart. You just, there we go. You analyze your local meta, and you just play accordingly. So, yeah. And so you start doing good at locals, and then you start getting better packs. Now, the packs will come with time, and getting good will come with time. So this is kind of a long-term thing, but this is what I've discovered is the best way to get good cards without paying for them. Locals is like 4 to $5, so you should be able to pay it out every week. And come on, your allowance is, it has to be more than $5 if you're living with your parents or your job or whatever. It's got to be – you got to be able to enter locals and – yeah. So you've now found a locals, you're doing good, or you've just got cards that are good, like you've got structure decks, like you got the Salomon Great structure deck, and you're like, oh, hey, this gazelle is the key point of that deck, and everyone around you is like, wow, he's got the gazelle, that's the key point of that deck, and they're like, here, this is my trade binder, so you go through trade binders, and you look through trade binders, and, you and you're like, oh, this is cool, what's this, oh, um not Omega, oh, Cyframe Lord Omega, like, hey, what's this do? And he's like, oh, Cyframe Lord Omega. You can, you summon this card and you banish and you banish one card out of your opponent's hand. You're like, wow, that's awesome. And I run a tuner in my Salomon Great deck for some reason. It, it, you're winning at locals, don't worry about it. And they're like, oh, well, I will trade you this Omega for your Gazelle. That's probably not how it worked. I don't think those cards are equal in price. But maybe like your Gazelle and, a, and your Spinny. And you're like, oh, sweet, cool, and then you trade. And you now have a really good Synchro Monster. And that's really about how you get good. That's how you get some good cards. You trade for them. Like, you'll have cards, right? Like, you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, you've got Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And you've been playing for a while. And even with the packs you get at Locals, you're going to pull some good cards. And through, like, buying them or using them in your deck. And But, yeah, so it's important to find people with cards you want. And it's also really important to know the cards you want and how much they are worth. I um I had a friend who had a he pulled the ulti scapegoat out of the OTS pack, and uh, this really mean guy kind of scammed him out of it. The guy later got like kicked out of the shop store, and the kid got his card back. But like you gotta make sure you know how much your cards are worth. Great resource for this is TG TCG Player, Troll and Toad. Just like look at the card prices on there. Watch a Market Watch video. House of Champs is my favorite. Just go on there and just and you see how much the cards are. So you look at the cards you want, what cards would beef up your deck, and then you know how much the the card is worth. And if you're looking for it, you you got to know how much those cards are worth, the cards you want, and you got to know how much your cards are worth, the cards you have. Like if you've got an ulti deco talker, that's like fifteen dollars, I think, right now. This video is time stamped as of uh, early March, twenty nineteen. So you got to know how much your cards are and how much the cards you want are so you don't get scammed. Because getting scammed is the worst thing ever. It's, it's not fun, and you need to watch out for that. Always be aware. People at Locals are really great, and they'll really want to help you out. But some people aren't that great. And with those great people at Locals, build friendships, man. You know, just pull an anime, play them in a duel, lose or win, and then... You're like, whoa, you're either, you're really good, or you gave me a huge run for my money. How do you know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? And he'll tell you his secrets. Or she. There are some girls who are really good at Yu-Gi-Oh. I have not met any, but uh, I bet they exist, probably. But yeah, and they're like, like why, are, like, why are you playing this tech? Like, um, like, why do you play Upstar Goblin in your deck? And I'm like, oh, well, since Upstar Goblin lets me draw one other card, I got... I'm now playing a 39 card deck, and this is this is no cost other than giving my opponents life points, and life points don't matter. And you're like, life points don't matter? That doesn't make any sense. And then they explain that to you, and you learn by making friends at Locals. And that's a really great way to not only build a community, but also get good cards when your buddies are like, hey, I'm trying to build mermails. You got mermails? And your buddy Mike's like, oh, man, I've been playing mermails for years. You ready to cash out? And he's got, like, all ulti crap. And you can't afford it. He's like, don't worry, I have the common versions too. And you're like, yay! So yeah. So yeah, find the locals. Go frequently as you can. And if the locals isn't working out, find another locals. If it's the only one around, um, good luck.
but it, usually most locals are really good, and playing the game is a really great experience that you want to build on. So yeah, thanks guys. I will see you soon. Uh, I've been skimping on videos a little bit recently because I've been very, vis very busy with midterms and all that good stuff, but it'll be spring break next week. I'm going to be at YCS Atlanta for any of you people who are going, but I don't think any of my viewers are going to Atlanta. But I will see you guys later, and yeah, good luck at your games, guys.